third game of this Green Turtle Classic goes to RIT 11-10 with Cabrini coach Steve Colford. You guys are going to leave here 0-2. Mm -hmm. When you look back at these two games, you're going to see so much that your team did well here. Yeah. How do you convince them that this 0-2 result kind of flukish and, and continue on to make sure that this weekend doesn't beat you going forward again? Yeah, I, well, you know, I think we come here for all of those reasons. You know, I mean, because the competition is so tough, um, the mental and physical challenge of playing in within less than 24 hours against ranked teams, uh, you have to make uh, adjustments on the fly. You have to make personnel changes on the fly. I mean, we were literally did a walkthrough in the conference room at the Mount Washington Inn this morning and put two new offices offensive plays in. Uh, we moved tables and chairs. We used, uh, you know, I mean, that that's what you do. Uh, and, you know, so our effort both nights I thought was great. Last night, uh, we just didn't get enough shots, and, and Stevenson's defense played really well over the second, third, and fourth quarter. And tonight, we didn't finish the game, you know. Um, and they are an experienced, lethal group when given the ball, and we knew that. And we had to play a different style against them. We had to really limit our transition and, and really hold on to the ball. If they have it, they're really good at scoring it, and we saw that. I mean, I've never seen them. They, they, I think they outshot us 18-3 to three in the fourth quarter, right. uh, and that's that's crazy. Um, we just couldn't get that ground ball. I had to use a timeout on D. We were just gassed, you know, right. and um, so, you, you know, you keep trying to just pull levers and see until you pull the right one, and, and tonight, unfortunately, we didn't, and uh, credit goes to RIT and their staff. They, 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 they won a game. Talk about Tyler for a minute. I mean, he did everything he possibly could, 16 saves uh, in this game. And as you mentioned, when you're playing an offensive team like that, where yeah. all six guys on the field at yeah. any time from anywhere are so good, uh, just talk about his effort and what he gave you. Yeah, I mean, they they put a lot of pressure on you. I mean, they stress you because they're great in the two-man game. You know, they have that Canadian influence. Um, they have great sticks, uh, you know, and so you need a goalie who's going to make saves. Um, and then they 10-man ride you, so you're not out until you, you, you can't relax when he makes a save. we got to clear it. I told our D all night, you can't relax until the ball is in the, our offense's box. Uh, you know, and um, and that's the stress that they put on you. But that's what good teams do. That's what championship level teams do like RIT. We have to learn from that. And we have, to get to that level, you have to play these guys. you got to compete against these guys. And that ultimately will be the, the thing that we believe, the recipe to get us to that level and sustain it. Now, you guys have done a lot of good things so far on this year. And as you, you sit here at 5-2, and two, just thoughts on where you all are right now, uh, sitting at 5-2 and two, and obviously long losses here the last yeah. two games to really good clubs but where are you right now? I think we're okay just because you know you look at it for you know 41 freshmen 55 freshmen 33 freshmen 17 freshmen Tyler Morrell sophomore you know I mean we could go down the list of freshmen sophomores who made contributions in our seven games if not starters coming off the bench so we knew we were going to be a little bit younger we're a little bit uh, more veteran on the back line of our defense um, which is obviously good but we're young and these kids are going to learn from that if we're playing good lacrosse in April or May then we look back on this weekend and say it was well worth it uh, I said to our guys Thursday and Friday, listen, you know, whatever happens this weekend, we're going to be a better team and a better program come Sunday, regardless. Now, would I like to be 2 0? Sure. 1 and 1, I could sleep with. 0 oh, 2, uh, you know, I got a lot of work to do, and we got some work to do, but we understand that this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I still think we're in good shape. You know, we got to go home, have a good week of practice, get on the bus, and go out and play Cortland State. And, uh, you know, and that's a good squad, and Coach Bell will have them ready, And uh, but that's the grind, you know, and that's what our guys are going to have to be prepared to face if they want to get to that next level. All right, appreciate the time. Best Thanks. of luck the rest of the year. Appreciate it. All right, Steve Cole for joining us here is Cabrini Falls, heartbreaking fashion, 11 10 in overtime. To RIT at the Green Turtle Classic.